Hello, in this video, we introduce a novel solution for localization with a single ultra-wideband anchor. We know that localization and tracking are basic requirements of any mobile robot. A great number of different sensors provide solutions in different situations. Like GPS for outdoor localization, a motion capture system inside a laboratory, or cameras and lidar for simultaneous localization and mapping. However, all these settings are either expensive or very dependent on other infrastructure. In this paper, we explore the possibility of low-cost inertial measurement units with an external ultra-wideband sensor. Today, almost every smart device has an IMU. UWB technology is also becoming pervasive. The latest Apple iPhone is equipped with a UWB chip for spatial awareness. We believe that a localization solution which relies only on IMU and UWB is highly desirable. UWB is known for its accurate ranging performance. Most UWB localization solutions are based on a multi-anchor arrangement using trilateration. However, we want to have a minimal number of anchor dependencies, ideally a single one anchor that can be dropped when needed. Single anchor or beacon localization is not easy. Some research on underwater robots tried to track a robot with a single beacon on a base station. However, an AUV usually has a set of advanced sensors such as accurate IMU, Doppler sensors, and acoustic sensors. There are also studies about tracking with a single UWB anchor in a leader follower scenario using optical flow as a velocity sensor. Considering velocity sensors are much rarer and generally too expensive for IoT devices, we prefer using only a low-cost IMU and one UWB anchor. Although we do not use velocity sensors, the system still needs a velocity measurement to be observable. Getting a reliable velocity from a low-cost IMU or UWB is very challenging. The integration of acceleration from IMU drifts dramatically when using low-cost MEMS IMU sensors. Our novelty in this paper is that we estimate the velocity by combining the IMU and UWB. We propose a speed estimator to leverage the range changing patterns. The estimated speed coupled with orientation estimation from the IMU can provide a velocity estimate to keep the system observable. As shown in the figure, three pairs of range and time measurements are used to create a set of equations based on the Pythagorean theorem. Then we can get the algebraic solution of the moving speed v. We tested this speed estimation using noise-free ranging measurements to one anchor. The cyan line is the range measurement value, which is continuously fed into the speed estimator. Green is the estimated speed, which correctly tracks the true speed during constant velocity phases. Speed estimation produces erroneous peaks during speed changes. This is in line with our expectations we assume constant velocity. Considering that constant velocity motion is still the predominant motion in most real-world scenarios, this assumption is still valid in many situations. We design a system that uses this speed estimation to update the system. An important task is to distinguish the constant velocity motion period to filter out inadmissible values. Since the gyroscope can reflect the heading status, we relax the conditions to linear motion detection. This block diagram shows our localization system. Three modules are involved. A complementary filter provides a quaternion estimation of the orientation using algebraic solutions from angular velocity, the observation of gravity, and magnetic field. This heading helps the speed estimator to detect linear motion and then estimate the speed using the aforementioned strategy. The estimated speed, heading, and original range measurements are fused into the final extend Kalman filter to estimate the robot state. We first present simulation results for our system. The left figure shows the EKF trajectories with and without our speed estimator. The green line with a speed estimator can closely track to the true trajectory. From the right top figures, we can see the green line is the speed estimation from EKF using our speed estimator, which is able to match the gray true velocity most of the time. Despite some delays, our algorithm can still track the actual speed. However, the EKF without speed estimator can only catch up with the rough trend of the speed. The bottom right figure is a comparison in terms of root mean square error. The error of our algorithm drops rapidly when the correct speed estimation is available. We have used a DJI M100 quadcopter to verify our tracking and speed estimation in the real world scenario, which also illustrates the potential use of 3D applications. 
we programmed a triangle trajectory with a speed parameter of 2 meters per second. The middle figure shows the absolute trajectory error between the estimated trajectory and GPS. We can see the green trajectory with the speed estimator is much closer than the red one without it. The red dots in the right figure are the speed estimation based on the cyan range measurements. In summary, using only one anchor setting, we get around 1 meter absolute trajectory error, which is much lower than the vanilla EKF, which has an accuracy of 2.8 meters. In simulation, the accuracy increased by more than three times. Finally, the figure on the right shows a trajectory of a very simple differential wheel robot, the DuckyBot. There is no encoder or other velocity sensor on the robot. The robot is controlled manually to form a TUM-like trajectory in an outdoor basketball court at the TUM Garching campus. Our method allows the localization of simple robots or IoT devices with minimal infrastructure. Thanks for your time.